Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's 100% Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And we're taking a phone call because we're going to kick off a lot of weird hey, stuff. Hello, Tommy, Tommy. We got a situation over at Printworks. Oh, there's a go situation at the Printworks. Wow, it's some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up. I got to go. Yeah, so our lawyer's telling us stuff's messed up at the Printworks. So this will kick off a Printworks mission, but it's not a Printworks mission. It's like a random mission before the end of the game mission. I don't know. Oh, so they okay, beat up our mind? guy. Oh. This is so sick. Oh, Tommy. Some and mob thugs. Tommy's mad. Like this guy reminds him of his dad. Money. You know? Oh, I feel like crap. This is the Tommy? only person he's ever treated Sonny with Pirelli? respect. Yeah, that's the guy. So, I think the mobs in town. I'm not angry and with you. Get him to the hospital. Look, I'm not angry with you. Get him to the Tommy, hospital. Rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm going to rip him too. There you go. Tommy's getting badass. And the Tommy stuff at the end of this game is fantastic. I mean, you know, obviously he's our hero, so, you know, like, well, I mean, he's our protagonist. I don't know if he's theoretically a hero. He's a murderer uh, and a thug. <laughs> so, anyways, so the, the way this works is the mafia is taxing your businesses. And so these guys and these scooters, the Sanchez's, are going from business to business, and you have to kill them. And, yeah, you have all the time in the world for this. I mean, they'll tax your businesses or whatever. Maybe if they go to every business, you lose out. And if you kill them, <clears throat> another set will spawn. Yeah, we can't do this with a missing tire here. So anyway, uh, if you kill them, another set will spawn, and you'll have to kill them. And then another set will spawn, and you have to kill them, and then the mission is over. So it's three sets. So, you know, we really gotta be better at this. So so they get, they've arrived at the boatyard, and they'll go from the boatyard to the, <clears throat> to the car lot. And that's the only part of the, the series I know. Like, it's pretty easy to actually kind of follow them, and they're pretty fast, but... Geez, this is not good at driving here. So they're, they they finished taxing the boatyard, and like I said, they'll go to the car lot, because that's usually where I get the first pair. And then, after that, it's, it's kind of a free-for-all, I just kind of follow the blip on the, the radar. So, it's easy to knock these guys off the bike and run them over. So... That's kind of the, the strategy. If you have to, like, if you, you can really knock the bike out, you can get out and shoot it, but they're pretty heavily armed, so... You know, like I said, running these guys over is kind of the way to go. There they are. So... But, like, look, there. I mean, for being on a Sanchez, I mean, they're really moving. I mean, if we had a faster vehicle, we'd be doing better, but... Well, that was nice. Like, they're already off the bike for us. So... Well, there's not really a lot we can do here. I mean, like, he's kind of under the car. That should kill him. I mean, he's under the car. Yeah, we want his bike. Oh, wow, we can shoot the car. Oh, they got us a wanted star. Oh, that's so stupid. Whatever, we'll leave him there. Oh, and then he got back on the bike. Oh, the car went away. Ugh, whatever. This is such a... Oh, that was the other one. There was a second one, and we missed him. Well, whatever. We'll meet him at the stupid auto lot. So, yeah. So, anyways, you gotta kill these guys. and Like, whatever. They're tough. Big deal. So, if you catch them in a business, they'll be off the bike and stuff, and you can just do that. Oh, my God. They really... Like I said, they're tough. They're, they're heavily armed. And they take multiple shots from our python, that's pretty crazy, I mean, these guys are tough. I mean, like I said, I've said that like three times, these guys are tough, these guys are tough. Okay, so you cap the collectors, and like, more on their way. At least now we'll have a decent vehicle. Like I said, run these guys over, don't get them off the bike. I mean, you know, if you can hit the bike or whatever. And maybe the way to do this is to get a, like, a PCJ and come up behind them and just, you know, get them with a the Uzi or whatever, but... You know, or, you know, if you if you got the rug down, you could actually hit them with something like a chain gun. You know, because I, I don't care how heavily armed they are. I mean, you hit them with a chain gun, their vehicle will explode. And that should do it. So again, this is another mission where my strategy is kind of flawed. So, you know, you can improve on that. So yeah, I, I mean, if they're headed over, they're headed over to the other islands, so they got to kind of be, I mean... Wow, look at that guy fly. That was awesome. They gotta be headed to the Malibu Club, right? I mean, where else would they be going? Like, this is a pretty roundabout way to get to the film studio. I mean, oh, I guess they could be headed to the stupid strip club that we never, we never go to. 
So. But yeah, we'll catch them, and then like I said, there'll be a there'll be a third one, and I think I did this once where I must have been like riding on top where the third ones would spawn or something, because instantaneously heading to like trying to find the third ones, like I killed the second ones on that bridge we just passed over, and like instantly the mission cleared, and like it's always three guys, it's never just two, so it was very strange. But you never know. I mean, this game's a little glitchy. You know, this is a really ambitious project for them. But, you know, I mean, just check out the beta control tower stuff. I mean, like, it's weird. There's a there's a whole building in this game that you never get to see except from a distance. So, you know, of course, it's safer for these guys to be shooting your vehicle, but they've got, like, the crazy army rifle, so, like, you know, they could do some damage to your vehicle. So, but that's fine. I mean, like, so what? They do damage to your vehicle. Like, you can always just grab into the car. Okay, so the, our blowing up vehicle must have killed this guy. Good. Yeah, like, one of them's got, like, a, one of them's got, like, the stubby shotgun, like, the super strong riot shotgun or whatever, and then the other one's got, like, the army assault rifle. So, two down, one to go. And again, they'll be had to do, uh, they'll be had to do to a business, so... Again, I'm not exactly clear on which one, but whatever. We're in the neighborhood, so I mean, we might as well go, you know, get our body armor and stuff, because, you know, these guys are tough, and we at least want a fighting chance if they're gonna, you know, get us out of our vehicle or something. Because they could, I mean, like, they have the power to really just, you know, blow up whatever vehicle we're in, so... I mean, we don't really need any more weapons when it comes right down to it, so. <laughs> Alright, onward. We gotta cap one more collector, well, two more collectors or whatever. They actually, like, in the little instructional thing, no, they're on the other island. Um, in the little instructional thing, they say that cap the collector a lot. Like, <laughs> you've capped the collectors, more are on their way. You've capped the collectors, more are on their way. So how's everybody doing? I know I asked it all the time, but, you know, maybe one day I'll get an answer. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how you would answer. Maybe, I don't know. Like, somebody will develop technology to send, you know, radio waves into my braces or something. I don't have braces. Couldn't really do that. So anyway, so this talking dog, no, I'm just kidding. What was that, like, 50 videos ago? Oh my god. It's been such a long run through this game. It's all blurred together. So, alright. Back at the Malibu Club again. Take that, you jerks. Like, that's the way you want to hit them, right there. Beautiful. That's a great mission, $30,000. Okay, so now all we have left is the last mission. I get in the rifle range, I you know. We'll deal with that. But, I have the last mission, so that's going to take some preparation. There are two things I've got to have for that mission. One of them kind of necessary, and one of them completely essential. Like I've never done this mission without one of them, and you know we'll be we'll be going for that. Well, we'll be getting a new vehicle. We'll be going for that. We'll be answering a phone call. Tommy, and getting a new Tommy, vehicle. Tommy, I'm going I for that. Sonny on the phone. Okay, are you with me? Uh, blah 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 blah. Lawyers just worth a piece of nothing. So. Our lawyer has a family? He's got like a coke problem. Like, he's never talked about a family before. Like, we've been through a lot. You think he would have mentioned, like, I really want that motorcycle. Oh, this stupid phone call. Remind me to kill him. Can I, can I kill my lawyer? I don't think I could. Alright, so we're, uh, we're going into the, uh, the North Point Mall here because, uh, we need green leaves. This is, there we go. This is the phone call we're waiting for right here. Yeah. So I think that's the phone call that actually unlocks our mission. But anyway, we need grenades. We need them bad. We need a lot of grenades. Grenades are gonna gonna save this mission for me, so. This is the only way I've ever done this mission is with grenades. They're probably I don't know, I, I yeah, you know what, actually when we do the mission, which is gonna be the next video, but like when we do the mission I'll talk about the alternate strategy. 
So, all right. And now we got one more stop to make before we do the last mission. All right, we're at Phil's, and uh, we're picking up the super gun here. So, uh, because the alternate strategy for the next mission uh, involved was this, and, and you know I've never made it work, but I'm gonna talk about it. So, and maybe we'll try it once. I don't know. We definitely don't need you know as many bullets as I'm gonna get for this thing, but you yeah, know whatever. Only 100% this will have infinite ammo too, so I mean I really probably shouldn't get more than I need, but again money's not an issue at this point, so what's the matter? We just buy anything we want. So yeah, a thousand bullets. Fantastic. One more for good measure, there we go. Alright, so you know what? Uh, yeah, this thing's almost dead. Let's go get a more manly vehicle. There we go, now we're ready to take on the devil itself. Alright, I'll see you for the next video, guys. Take care, thanks for watching.